almost always. It's not about insulin because insulin is regulated very well in the human body. What it is almost always about. And what do you think about uh, people stressing out about the insulin levels, insulin sensitivity and leptin? Uh, I've seen people going to the limit like, I don't want any carbohydrates. I might just uh, spike my insulin level. And I'm like, so, it's, it doesn't work like this. Colors in, colors sure. out. Don't sure. stress out well, that much. Uh, yeah, for sure. So it could work like that. Hypothetically, if you um, you know mismanage your insulin greatly, then you could have rebound glycemic cravings and so on and so forth. The thing is, in individuals that don't have impaired glucose functioning or are not using injectable insulin, when you have a high carbohydrate food, it raises your insulin levels and in proportion to the amount of carbohydrate that you have. And then the carbohydrate enters, the glucose enters the muscles via the insulin, you feel full, and then you feel normal. And then so nothing weird happens. If you have uh, a little bit of high glycemic carbohydrate by itself, sometimes that can cause reactive hypoglycemia, especially if you're very lean and you have large muscles and you just worked out or, interestingly, if you're pre-diabetic. What that can do is just a small amount of very high glycemic sugars can, in fact, lead to a rebound in appetite and hunger. Uh, that's a very rare case, and uh, most of the time it does not occur, especially in mixed meals where you have protein and fiber and fats and also some sugars. So if you want to avoid that kind of rebounding, I wouldn't have, like, just a Sprite or just a... Uh, a container of orange juice and call that a meal. So if you have a normal meal, it's totally fine to include sugars. Um, and, you know, another thing is insulin, when it's elevated, isn't even linked to the uh, presence of more hunger. It's only an imbalance of insulin and carbohydrate that does that. So that's, again, sort of faulty on that logic. Um, it, almost always, it's not about insulin, because insulin is regulated very well in the human body. What it is almost always about is palatability, a palatability reward of food. People actually don't get fat eating a high carbohydrate diet. When I was putting on muscle uh, over the summer, I had to take my carbohydrates to 900 grams per day. Uh, a huge fracture of that was very high glycemic carbohydrates in the form of shakes. I could barely gain weight and I could barely eat that much food. It was awful. Why? Because my fat intake was only like 60 grams of fat per day. And you figure, well, gee, isn't that like, you know, what, what the, all those carbs and insulin, et cetera. Well, yeah, insulin and in the presence of protein and carbohydrate builds lots of muscle, but it doesn't build a lot of fat because there's just not a lot of fat around, right? Um, how do you get really fat? Well, you have to eat really high calories. And the way to eat really high calories is to eat food that is very calorie dense and very delicious because that food not only is easy to eat, not only does it bring in a lot of calories, but it makes you want to eat more of it later again. So how do you do that? You combine very sweet foods or very savory foods together with high carbohydrates and high fats at the same time. If you have a simultaneous high carb, high fat diet, you their ticket to weight gain and fat gain is very likely. So, yeah, yeah, I agree.